Hi everyone, in today's video we're gonna talk about this module over discharge battery protection under voltage protection board. So to zoom in what it looks like. This is how it looks like. And we're gonna turn on and see how it works. Let me put it closer. Do you see it or not? Right, it's 10 volts at the moment. And we can set up. I did set up. You hold this left button. And then the value is going up. 10.7, 11 volts. Or you can go down. If you hold it. Not sure. Yeah, it's keep going. 33. Let's check. Over. 40. Oh, it shows a lot. <laughs> Never test that far. Anyway, it's from 12 to 36 volts, I believe. So I'm going back to 10 volts. And I'm going to set, oh, the protection just turned on. I'm going to go down to 10.3 and leave it. It will automatically set itself. And then, if I go, there's another setting. If it drops down to 10.3, it should cut out like the light there and then this setting is 1.5 volts when you hold it so I set to 1.5 you can set not sure how much but I'm sure there's a lot in between like 10 volts whatever so for this test I'm gonna do quickly close enough one and a half volt difference 1.5 so the way it works you set your minimum voltage which was 10.3 and the board will switch back on when it's fully charged again so it's 1.5 so 10.3 1.5 it should turn back on on 11.8 so I'm going to rise the voltage Slowly rise the voltage till it gets eleven point eight, and the light should switch on. That will make connection in between the top top wires. Yeah, that's it. Clicked as well. So that means it's connected again. These two wires. That's input, this is output, positive, negative. So what this one does, it's, uh, it protects your battery. For example, you've got 12 volt battery connected to, through this board and you, you don't have no control. There is no displays, nothing shows. So when it goes really low, if you're using for something, for all your lights, whatever you want, and if it goes too low, it can damage the battery. So that's why this board is not to get under the voltage that is the minimum. So if, for example, I'm going to turn the voltage down slowly and it will cut out on 10.3 or below. I should, that little light should be gone and you can hear the click. The next connection point. So 
So let me turn on to where the last was. 11.8 and nothing happens 11.9 12 so 11 was the first setting second was 1.5 so 12.5 that should turn back on we'll make connection in between areas and it will drop I'm going down to 11 it will disconnect 10.8 that's it it's off so that was the video about because I want to use this for my load this this one so because this is the dummy load what they call let me turn off and I made these connectors so for example when I apply the load and checking the batteries so so I can use it for example like this connect these two wires that will be input one over there one to that and uh, instead of this output I'm going to use this side so whatever load if I do 12 volt battery checking for the capacity and this board is perfect it holds about 10 to 20 amps so if I apply like 5 amp load it should work fine but if you only can add some extra cooler or something to keep it keep the heat down and this will protect for when the test normally 12 volt batteries not all of them have a under voltage protection so this is the perfect to test your batteries or use them in between so they don't go lower than should be and that's all if you need more info or text comment down below Subscribe to my channel if you think you want to see some more videos about DIY electrical stuff, electronics. And stay safe. See you next time.